Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode in the how to create your own cryptocurrency tutorial series. So in this episode, we're going to be creating our own network parameters so that when you run your code, you're not actually uh, connecting to the Litecoin network, you're connecting to your own coins network. This is really important. So make sure you follow these steps really closely. It's gonna be a, a very copy and paste heavy um, uh, tutorial, so just be wary of that, but we can get right into it. So I have a couple of things in the description for you, two links that you're gonna wanna open right now. Uh, make sure that you open them in your, your virtual machine and not your regular desktop because you won't be able to copy and paste between the two. So right here, we have a copy and paste, uh, paste bin of some commands for your terminal. And then we're also gonna need a list of address prefixes for a part later on in the, in the tutorial today where we'll be changing your prefix, but we'll do that in a bit. So first we want this open here, right? And we have these two commands right here that are gonna go through your, um, your, your, your coin, your specific cryptocurrency coin, and change the actual port number to something specific. Right now, Litecoin's port is 9332, I believe right here. So uh, I'm, I'm just leaving mine as 2332, but make it whatever you want as long as it's a valid port number, and uh, you should be okay here. So uh, let's open up the terminal, go to show applications, scroll to the right, go to terminal, and we wanna to navigate to our coin. So you can type CD desktop slash, and then whatever the name of your coin is. So mine is Technocoin. And you can see we're inside of the, uh, the folder there. So we wanna copy and paste these two commands. So right click, copy, and then paste. And if we hit enter, they should both run after a few seconds, and it should change all of the ports, uh, the, the Litecoin ports to your own personal port. And once it's done, there we go. Okay, so it is done now. And next we actually actually need to change your, your public address, your public key address, uh, in order to make sure that your network is your own and not like one. So we can minimize this and minimize this and go into your, your coin. Uh, in my case, it's Technocoin. And go to SRC, which stands for source. And in here, we wanna search for base 58. And you want to open base58.h right here, this file, double click it. And this is going to be a C++ uh, sort of file here, but um, or I guess this is a .h file in this case. And you want to go to line, so come up to this little uh, three, whatever you call this, a little drop down menu, I guess. Uh, go to line, and you want to go to line 275, and hit enter. And you can see right here, we have our pub key address and our pub key address test. So what this does is um, it basically changes the, the prefix of your address. So when you have a cryptocurrency, uh, the way you transact with other people is you, you have a public address, a public key. And uh, I think in Bitcoin's case, it starts with a zero every time. With Litecoin, it starts with an L. But because ours is Technocoin, I want mine to start with a T. So I'm gonna change that little note right there to T. And we need to change this number and this number. And the way we can change these and figure out what we want is you can open up the second link in the description and go to the list of address prefixes. Sort of put this over here so you can see well. And if you scroll down, you can see down here that there are letters and that correspond to a certain um, number. So for example, A, or capital A I should say, correlates to number 23. And if you scroll down even more, there are lowercase letters as well. So we need to use this key basically to, um, to change these addresses. So I want to, uh, my, my real public key address to start with a T every time. So I would scroll down to T here. There we go, T, and this goes to 65 or 66. So I'm gonna type 65 right here in my public key address. Now we also need to change our public key address test, which is right here. And this is always gonna be a lowercase so that you know it's a, a test, not a real, the real coin. So scroll down to lowercase. In my case, lowercase t here is represented with 127 or 128. So I'm going to type 127. And you can come up here and save. And we're actually done with this file now. So that should uh, not be super hard for you. Just figure out what, what letter you want for, to, for your address to start with. If you don't know what a, a public key address is, I would urge you to look it up uh, before you go any further, just so you have some background knowledge. But we can close out of this file now. 
And next we need to actually CD to our desktop. All right, so what you need to do now is come back to your terminal and you, I just did slash clear or clear to uh, get rid of all the clutter. And you wanna type cat space alert key dot hex. And this should generate a public and a private key here. And you can actually do this for all of these. Um, we have the testnet alert hex, the alert key hex, and the genesis coinbase hex. And we need to copy and paste these public keys into their respective files uh, one by one. And it's gonna be super tedious, but we have to do it. So in order to do that, you can sort of minimize this for right now, or I guess just leave it up here on the right. Go to your coin folder, go to SRC, and we wanna open, I believe it is alert, alert.cpp. Double click this, and this will be a C++ file. And you can see right away we have a PSZ main key and a PSC test key. So this is just what I was talking about earlier. We need to replace all of these, all of these, with the public keys that we have in our, um, in our terminal. So first up is the P, uh, the main key, sorry. So this is gonna be super tedious, but what you have to do, is delete the key, delete. And we're gonna go one by one each line and you actually have to manually delete each colon in between. I know that this is ridiculous, but it's the only way, <laughs> unless you make like a script or something to do it for you. But so let's go through the, make sure it's the public key. It's not the private key. You must do the public key. So first line, right click, copy, paste, and we can, individually go through each colon and delete them one by one. There we go. And this is gonna take quite a while, so get used to it. And we have to do it three times as well. So then go to the second line, copy, paste at the end here, and delete the colons. And you can see there's a lot of room for error here. So make sure that you're doing this really slow, really careful. You can always go back and do it again, but you know, you'd rather not, of course. Then go to the third line here. Right click, copy, paste in. And once again, delete the colons. Delete, delete, delete. So many colons being deleted. And we can move on to the fourth line. Just two more lines here. Right click, copy, paste delete the colons, here we go. And there is a way to check this, I'll show you in a moment. Although it's not very effective, but it is a way to check. And delete, I believe, this colon. Oh, this is a little, little hard to see, okay. And last line, we have to go to this tiny little line down here, the fifth line, right click, copy, paste and once again, delete the colons. Now you know, once you've done this, if it's correct, if, uh, well, you don't 100% know if it's correct, but you know that you've done generally okay if it's the same length here as this one. And you can see it is in fact the same length, so we did enter in all the numbers. Hopefully it's correct, you know, we'll know soon if we get an error message, but uh, that's so, so our main key is done pretty much. Um, what we have to do is do the same thing with the test key. So save real quick then uh, delete the test key down here and uh, come over here to your, your uh, terminal. Just type clear real quick. And now we want the, the test net key. So we wanna type cat space test net alert uh, dot hex. And this will give us another, again, make sure it's the public key. You do not wanna to touch the private key. And like I said before, we have to copy every single line into this and delete the colons, of course. Now you could just copy and paste the whole thing, but it's gonna look really messy and you're gonna have to clean it up and it's gonna be way more trouble than it's worth. So I would recommend, like I said, like I'm doing here, just copy and pasting each individual line from the terminal and deleting the colons. And I would fast forward, but this is often the part that uh, stops people the most or gives people the most problems. So that is why I'm going through it for you guys. Feel free to fast forward if you don't need help with this anymore. But keep going, delete, 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 all the way down. Just two more lines to go. 
in last two lines, copy, paste, go. It should be two characters in between each colon, so you can kind of get into a rhythm of um, deleting the colons, except for these annoying little sections right here, where it's a little confusing to see. Okay, and then the last section down here, copy, paste, and get rid of the colons. And let's just check. Yes, they're the same length, so we did it correct. Hopefully, save. And you are done with alert.cpp for now, so you can close out of this. Again, make sure that you do cat uh, alert key.hex for main and cat testnet alert.hex for test key. Very important, and only use the, the public key. All right, so we can actually close out of alert.cpp, and now we need to go to our main.cpp. So inside of source in your coin, type main.cpp and it should be right there, main.cpp, double click that and open this up. And inside of your terminal, again, we're just gonna clear See, so it's easy for you to see. And for, we need to actually replace, well, first we have to go to the line number. So in your main.cpp, open the drop down menu, go, go to line and go to line 2794. So 2,794, enter, and we need to replace, oh, right here, we need to replace parse hex. Right here, you can see it's a little hard to see, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, but uh, we need to replace this parse hex, so we can actually delete this whole string right here, delete, and like I said, we have to do all of this over again. So get ready for more copy and paste because we can type cat in our terminal, cat space, Genesis Coinbase dot hex. Hit enter, and you'll, again, you'll get another public key. Copy the first line. Copy, and where is it? Where did it go? Right here, parsex. Paste. And delete the colons. There we go. Delete, delete, delete. Good, now second line, copy, paste. This one's gonna be a little tricky because of the spacing of this um, this, this uh, C++ file. It's making it go onto another line, so just try to bear with me here. I know it's really annoying having to do all this stuff, but you can always fast forward. Um, and then next line here copy and paste and once again colons for days we got to delete every single one there we go delete and just two more lines I know this is so torturous okay next line copy paste you can imagine how annoying it is seeing the um, the error message after getting all these done not doing them right, missing one letter, accidentally deleting it or something. Yeah, it is super annoying. Okay. Let's see here. There we go. I believe that is pretty good. Oh, okay, cool. And let me just double check that because I th think I did that a little quick. 7B, C, D, C, yeah, okay, we're good. And then last line here before we are done. Copy, paste, and again, we need all of the colons gone. All right, so we're finally done with our, we can close out of this for a second. We're finally done with our parse hex key. You can see here, if we scroll to the left, it should you know, encompass all of this. And once that's done, you can hit save. And the next thing we need to do is change our message start. So you can just scroll up a little bit in main.cpp. Oh, that's a little too much. Uh, this is your parsex. Just scroll up a little bit more from the parsex. Right here, we have in this if statement, this if testnet statement, um, we want to change all of these right here. So not, not entirely, but just a little bit. So what these are, this is to sort of make sure that you have a unique network that your, your coin is connected to. Right now we have the, the Litecoin message start, uh, PCH, um, little token or whatever you want to call it here. So we're just going to change it very slightly. Just leave everything except for the last, um, the last character. So 
Let's say I want to change this to instead of C, A, instead of 1, 2, instead of 7, 4, and instead of C, E. And we can save that. And you just want to make sure that it's unique to your own coin, of course. Uh, so do not copy what I put here, just make your own. This is completely random. Uh, and it's, again, to make sure that you're, you're connected, connecting to your own network. Uh, and we need to do the same thing, but on a different line. So open up the drop down, go to line 3082. That's 3082. Hit enter. And you can see right here, we have another set of message start tokens here. So again, random, uh, unique tier coin, change the last letter. Instead of B, I'm gonna put uh, C. Instead of zero, I'm going to put one. Instead of six, I'm gonna put three. Oh, didn't grab it there. And instead of B, I'm gonna put A. And you can see again, totally random, unique to my coin. Hit save. And after that, we're almost done actually. We just need to change a few things, some seed addresses. So you can actually exit out of this. We're done with main.cpp. And we wanna go over to, I believe it's net.cpp. Open this up. And the final thing we have to do is delete the, the seed nodes, the DNS nodes. So the DNS, DNS seeds, sorry. So if we come up here and we go to line, so drop down menu, go to line 1178, so 11, 1178. You can see we have some mainnet DNS seeds. And what these are is to essentially connect to full nodes. If you don't know what a full node is, you should look it up, but it's to allow wallets to sync with each other. These are all Litecoin specific, so we don't want them. So come over to this little, uh, this method right here. And we want to delete all of the, uh, the, the seeds, the DNS seeds, except for null. So delete them, but leave null there. And again, same thing down here with the test net, delete all of the nodes, all of the seeds, except for null. So we wanna just leave these two. And once that's done, you can save and scroll down just a little bit and you'll see all of these, these PN seeds here, right? What you wanna do is delete all of them. So in this little method here, PN seed, grab every single one of these seeds, scroll all the way down. Oh, that's a little too far. Right there. Grab all of them, making sure not to delete anything else and just hit delete. And if we scroll up, it should be empty, but that's gonna leave an error message, so we need to actually fill it with something. So just type 0x0, and you can save that. And we're actually gonna come back to this net.cpp fi uh, file, because right here we're gonna put the name of, or I guess the seed of your specific node, which I'll be talking about in the next few episodes, how to host your own node, how to get started with that, but just know that this is where you're gonna put it. So we'll be doing that later on, but you can save, and just to make sure before we end the episode that this all worked correct, uh, we can open up our terminal. And if we go to CD, just to get out of there, and then CD desktop slash the name of your coin, Technocoin, uh, and then CD source or SRC and clear, we should be in desktop, the name of your coin, SRC, and we need to compile just to make sure that excuse me, your, uh, your coin is working because of all those changes. So type make dash F space make file dot Unix and hit enter. And this is gonna take a while of course because it always does. So just let it run. And as long as you have no major errors, as long as it doesn't stop you know, prematurely with an error, then it means that you did the episode correctly and that everything is working. So let's just see how this goes. All right, so we're done compiling and you can see here that there are no major errors and that it, it took, took us right back to the, um, the desktop coin source folder. So everything is working great. We finished the tutorial with no errors. And if the same thing happened for you, that's awesome. If not, feel free to let me know in the comments or come join our Discord server and ask for help. And I'll try the best I can to help you out. But other than that, you can exit out of this and we're done with episode two. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for coming along with me and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you.